Hey guys, Twinstinct here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, well, Element Cup is leaving us, Master League is leaving us, and we're coming back into Great League. So with the Great League this time, we've got the Great League Remix. So what I'm going to be going over today, I've got endless videos on my uh, channel about Great League teams. So we're going to be going over some Great League Remix. I've had a few battles with a fellow content creator, Awesome Gen, and I must say he absolutely schooled me. So much Focus Blast, he had Focus Blast Hypno, Focus Blast Registeel, and uh, yeah, I think Focus Blast in this cup is going to be very, very strong, because I couldn't get anywhere near him. He was uh, very, very good. So we will have a video of that, those battles up on his channel, so please do go check that out as well. But anyway, moving on, today I'm going to run over some uh, top picks for the uh, Great League Remix and uh, go over some teams as well, see what's going to be uh, looking good for you guys after the practice battles I did with uh, Awesome Gen. Got a little idea of a few teams that are definitely going to help you guys out. So uh, yeah, as always guys, please do smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and enjoying the content, that would mean the world to me. Stick a like on the video before we jump into it. Let's go. Okay everyone, moving over to PV Pokey then to look at the rankings for Great League Remix. Straight away at the top of the page we've got XL Diggersby. Bunnelby has been everywhere in the wild for quite some time, so I'm sure quite a few of you have access to a Diggersby or can power one up to you know, level 40 or something like that. It's very strong, it's going to be Jellicent, Nidoqueen, Registeel, Wigglytuff, Lickitung. And yeah, then against Registeel particularly, you're going to need some coverage for that. It's going to be very strong in this meta, I believe. Legendaries, are, which we do have access to, the Cresselia, the Registeel, things like that, that are very high on the rankings. We're going to need uh, coverage for those sorts of things. So you do lose to Shadow Machamp, Wishcash, Cresselia, Mandibuzz, and Obstagoon. So as you can see there, XL Diggersby, very strong attacker, very strong on the lead. It's very strong all round. So uh, you can run this on your team anywhere, and it's just going to be quite a beast. Okay then, second up we've got Registeel. I faced off against this in the battles against the Awesome Gen and it is no joke, it's so bulky, so tanky, everyone knows what it's like. If you uh, don't don't want to spend out a lot of Stardust and a lot of uh, candies that you don't have, you can use just use Lock On and Focus Blast. That is still going to do very very well for you in this meta I believe. So you will beat Wigglytuff, Cresselia, Pidgeot, Mandibuzz, Bomber Snow and a lot of other things. You lose to Nidoqueen, Diggersby, Jellicent, Wishcash and Sableye. So there it is again. Not so good on the lead for Registeel, but if you've got a shield advantage at the end of a match and you uh, just use Lock On and Focus Blast, that's the way you want to run this. Just have that as a closer at the end and uh, yeah, you're probably going to have a good time in this meta. So Registeel then. If you do just run it with Lock On and Focus Blast, that is definitely going to be a budget option that's going to be a really, really solid closer for you in this meta. I have battled against it as a closer and it literally just tore me, tore me apart, so definitely one not to sleep on there. Make sure you have a counter ready for it if you're not going to run it. Okay, moving on, Mandibuzz. Just now foul play and aerial ace you want on there. Key wins against Jellicent, Diggersby, Nidoqueen, Wishcash and Cresselia. Some good coverage there. But you will lose to Shadow Machamp, Registeel, Pidgeot, Obstagoon and Abomasnow. Mandibuzz very fast charging, very bulky, we know what it's like. Good on the attack, good as a closer. So another option there for a solid closer alongside Registeel. I am in the process of powering up a Licky Tongue at the minute. I did use that in my battles and it did perform very well, but it's not XL yet. It's just powered up to, I think, 1,411 CP, but that is very... It's still very strong even at that level so um, if you are looking to invest in a licky tongue I think I would recommend uh, simply because mine isn't full power and it's still performed very well so I will go through it anyway uh, key wins against Jellicent, Wishcash, Cresselia, Sableye and Bomber Snow. key losses will be Registeel, Nidoqueen, Mandibuzz, Shadow Machamp and Wigglytuff so we have got a very strong lead option there in, Wiggly, uh, in licky tongue sorry and a switch, a switch option there, very, very strong as uh, Licky Tongue is very bulky, as we all know. Number five then, Cresselia. So I think this is the first time I've ever read out five, the top five in a row, because uh, I've battled with them and against them, and they're all five of these are very, very strong picks for this cup. To be expected as they're in the top five ranked, but okay. So Cresselia, you've got Psycho Cut Grass, not a Moonblast on there. 
and you will get wins against Shadow Machamp, Wishcash, Nido Queen, Diggersby, and Wigglytuff. You will lose to Jellicent, Mandibuzz, Registeel, Sableye, and Lickitung. And again there, you've got a very strong option, lead, good on the lead, very, very strong on the switch, and again, strong on the close. Another very, very bulky Pokemon there that's uh, gonna give people some problems if they don't have a counter ready for that. So, running into a slightly more budget option now, we've got Nido Queen Shadow or Normal. Um, awesome gen used Nido Queen Shadow, which is incredibly, incredibly uh, oppressive and puts a massive pressure on. I do use the Normal Nido Queen, which is very good as well, has a little bit of extra stamina. Um, it just depends what you prefer. Slightly cheaper to build, and uh, they're ranked pretty much the same with the Shadow being slightly better. But we'll go in here on the Normal. Poison Jab, Poison Fang, Earth Power. It's a very good option, guys, for this Great League Remix. Uh, so you're going to beat Shadow Machamp, Registeel, Wigglytuff, Pidgeot, and Obstagoon. You will lose to Jellicent, Mandibuzz, Cresselia, Obbomasnow, and Diggersby. So they're very strong on the lead, very strong on the switch. Not so good on the close. Very, very fast charging. That Poison Fang debuffs the defense. And uh, yeah, with Poison Jab getting that buff, it's incredibly, incredibly oppressive now. And definitely worth looking at for this cup. I don't know how this cup's going to go, really. I think if you don't have access to certain things, like the legendaries, the top two legendaries there, it's going to be difficult. I feel like they are going to dominate, just from the battles I've had. I think Obstagoon could be a really good pick here, just because the counter damage will be super effective on the Registeel. And... Uh, Night Slash, super effective on the Cresselia. Um, so it could be like an anti-meta pick, Obstagoon. Let's go over it. So beat Jellicent, Diggersby, Wishcash, Lickitung, and Mandibuzz. And also the counter, yeah, the top two on the meta, Diggersby and Lickitung. Going to do uh, very well against those. Apparently you do lose to Registeel, Pidgeot, Cresselia, Nidoqueen, and Shadow Machamp. So the two legendaries up there you still will lose to, but you're going to put in a lot of work especially with the Registeel, because the counter damage will really add up. Okay then. I think Shadow Machamp's gonna be very good in this cup. You will beat that Registeel, Diggersby, Mandibuzz, Wishcash, and Obstagoon. You will lose to Jellicent, Nidoqueen, Abomasnow, Cresselia, and Pidgeot. So yeah, very strong on the lead, very oppressive. We know what Shadow Machamp is like. Very fast charging and very good on the close as well. For anyone using that Registeel in the back, trying to close out matchups, would not want to be met with a Shadow Machamp because the counter damage would tear them apart. Okay everyone, so jumping over to the team builder then, I'll just run through a couple of teams. Uh, this one personally worked very well for me in the practice battles of Awesome Gen. Uh, so we've got Nido Queen lead there with Poison Jab, Poison Fang, Earth Power. Utilising Mandibuzz as a bit of a safe switch there. So with the Snarl, Foul Plate and Shadow Ball I like to run instead of Aerial Ace. I don't really like Aerial Ace as a move, just it's very weak and I don't really like it at all. Shadow Ball has a lot more play for me. And then Lickitung, not full power in the back, not quite XL, not fully powered up, but Lick, Power Whip and Body Slam. Did perform very well for me, and uh, as you'll see here, the coverage, you get a B, A for bulk, A for safety, and a B for consistency. So across the board there, a very, very strong team overall, and definitely worth looking at if you guys are looking for a pretty strong team that uh, isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg, apart from maybe the Lickitung, but like I said, mine isn't full power and uh, still performs very well. Okay everyone, the second team then, we've got Cresselia, Registeel and Diggersby. Now, I'm not going to lie, this team is going to cost an absolute bomb to fully build, but if you've already got these Pokemon built, or uh, I know we've got the Triple Stardust coming up on Sunday, um, back for go battle night this probably is a team that's gonna really really perform wow there's so much bulk in here so much coverage and yeah so that's what we've got there moving down again we've got a b for coverage a for bulk a for safety and a b for consistency so across the board again incredibly strong this team and utilizing the two legendaries in there we know that you know you're probably gonna have a good time Okay then, for our last but not least team here, we've got Registeel, Shadow Machamp and Jellicent. And as you can see there, we've got a B for coverage, a B for bulk, a B for safety and a B for consistency. So again, a very strong team and one that will be slightly cheaper for you uh, if you uh, don't have the resources. 
to build uh, the, something like the Cresselia Reggie Steel Diggersby team, something of slightly more budget. Again, if you do still want to compete, and is a bit more of an anti-meta team with the uh, focus blast Reggie Steel, the counter cross chop damage on Machamp, and then the uh, hex shadow ball on Jellicent. You've got coverage there against Reggie Steel and Cresselia and Diggersby and Lickitung and uh, quite a lot of the top players. So uh, could be a strong team and definitely worth having a look at. So that is it from me, everyone. Thank you so much to, for coming to check out this content today. Greatly Greemix. I don't quite know what to expect from it. I'm hoping it's not totally dominated by Reggie Steele and Cresselia, because that will be a shame, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But as always, if you've enjoyed the content, please do smash that subscribe button. Give the video a like if you wish to do so. That would mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.